Hi there Virgos, welcome to your weekly reading. So this is going to run roughly from December 3rd until December 9th. Um, I am sincerely sorry for not being able to publish your videos, I believe, last week. So I apologize and I hope, you know, this reading is still timely and helpful for you guys. Um, I got an image for you similar to what I saw for Taurus, but there's a little bit of a difference. Um, what I saw for Taurus last week, and uh, it's an image of a gardener. Um, except for you guys, it seems better. I, I think like the, the, the mood is a little bit more optimistic. So what I'm seeing is you're in your backyard and you have a very spacious backyard. It's rectangular and you're a man wearing a straw hat and um, you have like one of those, um, I don't know what they're called. It's a gardening tool. It looks like a tiny little shovel where you can dig up dirt, but it's it's very small. It's a handheld tool. I don't even know what they're called. But you're looking at the sun and you're looking at your garden and you're just like, okay, these plants, they're not getting enough sunlight, so I'm going to move these pots into the front so then they're, they can get more sunlight. I feel like, you know, in a way, you understand that there, yes, Mother Nature takes care of everything, and but you understand that, you know, sometimes Mother Nature might need a helping hand. So if these potted plants are under the a tree and they're covered like the trees getting all the sunlight and the the pots are not then I'm going to move it to the front where it can get a little bit more sunlight it's sort of like helping to balance out a situation making sure everything is fair and making sure that you know everyone thrives okay and then I also see you um if it's a big plant you're giving it more water if it's a little plant you're giving it less water so you're definitely at a point where you are trying your best to balance things out. You want to you, you want to give everybody kind of like you know equal opportunity. So you're an equal opportunist. <laughs> and um it just feels to me like sometimes this can be very exhausting, right? You guys are really considerate, and I feel like Virgos, you observe everything. Nothing goes undetected, and nothing goes un unnoticed. You know who's really good working, uh, good working, hard working. You know who's really hard working. You know who slacks off, and you know who's being pretentious and who's being truthful. Like, none of these things go undetected. But a big part of you is very much like a Libra, where you want situations to be fair. So if someone is really hardworking, you want them to thrive. You will do everything in your capabilities to make sure that they thrive. If someone is very, very lazy, you hope that the universe will, you know, deal them justice, right? But at the same time, you're not going to do things to sabotage them because that's not you. And so in a way, you have a really good heart. And you help when you can. And you help people equally whenever you can. So it's not about holding grudges or holding resentment or, you know, wishing ill upon another person, even if you don't like them. I, I feel like you, you want everyone to thrive. And in a way, you also believe that, you know, like all of these flowers, all of these plants, in this garden, everything um, has its place and, and the presence or the existence of everything enhances the value of the garden, right? It enhances the beauty. It enhances the diversity of the garden. And I feel like that's what you really want. You want a robust, a thriving, a diversified garden. And you know that everyone has their good traits and they should contribute to you know the the growth of a situation so coming in for this week okay it, it it just feels to me like some of you have been feeling a little bit jaded okay like a little bit jaded what i have here is the hermit in the reverse so this is the person that tends to things, okay? This is the person that looks out for everybody, and this is the person that sees everything. They might not verbalize everything that they see. They might not share their, their, their observations, but they see everything. When it's in the reverse position, it's sort of like seeing things that people are trying to hide from you. You know, like the less 
than admirable traits, the selfishness, the, the shadiness, the, the things that people think. Um, it, it's like getting one over on you. You see it all and you don't call people out on it because you're not a confrontational person. And I also feel like you're not a confrontational sign, but I also feel like you do believe in this sense of divine justice, you know, that if they're going to be like that, one day they're going to get what's coming to them. And so you kind of leave it alone. And what I feel like happen, what I feel is really happening is that you stand by your truth and you hang on to your truth. But you feel little by little that other people are not doing the same thing. So is it fair for me to do what's right when other people are never doing what's right and um, they keep advancing? Okay, not you're, you're you're questioning whether or not divine justice exists. You're questioning whether or not people will get what's due to them, and you're questioning whether or not there is. Uh, somebody watching out and keeping score and, and, and is going to try to rectify the situation. So, like, is there a higher power out there that is going to, you know, dish out justice in the end? At the end of our lives, you know, are these people going to get away with their actions? At the end of, at the end of um, our lives, you know, will there be some type of a recognition for for the things that other people have done for the things that I have done so I, I feel like there's some there's some big questions that you're you're asking yourself that you're encountering and it just feels to me as if your faith in people has been a little bit shaken okay um once again I'm seeing like you know it's exhausting being on a Virgo it's exhausting, mainly because you see everything and you do everything. And um, people take you for granted. They take advantage of the situation. They take you for granted knowing that you're always there, that you never shy from hard work. You never shy away from hard work. You also never mind getting your hands dirty. You do what needs to be done. So it's, it can be very exhausting and can, it can feel a little bit lonely being a Virgo. You do a lot for other people and yet you, the other people are the ones in the limelight, the, are the ones getting the recognition. This is the week where you are going to get the recognition that you deserve. Okay, this is the week where I feel like people will start to thank you, will start to see will start to match your contributions, okay? So there will be some events happening for this week where you're going to be in the limelight. And you don't crave the attention in the limelight just for, you know, the, the, the fame and fortune. I feel like you want to set an example. And I also feel like people are coming to that sense of awareness where they know you're not doing this just to get into the limelight. You're doing this because it needs to be done, because it's the right thing, and because this is what we're supposed to be doing. Because it's why we're here. We don't want to tend to a dead garden. We don't want our plants to die, right? So we have to rearrange. We have to shuffle around. Yes, it is a lot of hard work. Nobody wants to do it, but it needs to be done. And that is how we should treat an entire situation do what needs to be done okay rather than keeping scores about who's doing what and um, who's putting in you know who's putting in the effort so I feel in a way it's like you if you were dealing with other Virgos you don't need to keep scores but if you're dealing with other signs it, it just feels like one person steps up and then the other person's all like oh you're doing the work now I don't have to so it's like it doesn't absolve the other person from doing the work as well. And it can feel very, very frustrating, right? Like reasoning or rationalizing that with another person so that they understand where you're coming from. Um, we do have a lot, of, um, a lot of recognition coming through in this spread, okay? So you're, you're, 
your actions, your contributions are not going unnoticed. You have somebody that is kind of like living in your shadows and they're emulating you and they're going to look at you and they're just going to be like, I want to be like that Virgo. So you're setting a really good example or you're being a, a very positive role model for another person. And so sometimes we do things and we feel like we're not getting the thanks and the recognition for it. Um, but I feel like there are always people watching. There will always be that sense of divine justice where, you know, maybe the uh, unintended consequence is that somebody looks at what you're doing and they're just like, I'm going to be like that person. So you're changing hearts, like, you know, one person at a time. You're changing minds one person at a time. So it doesn't feel to me like it's this extravagant, you know, um, rush of good karma coming back to roost. But it seems like it's happening little by little and it's going to change the trajectory um, of everybody that's involved. Like the, the, the mindset or the life trajectory or the choices that they're making in the future. Little by little. The change is, um, it's like you, you, you have been on the forefront of this new wave of change. And you're getting the ball rolling. So, you know, like how if you're pushing a boulder, right? The f first few initial pushes, it seems really, really, really difficult. It feels so heavy. But once it starts going, it's going to gain traction and momentum. And it's going to snowball. And just, you know, get larger and bigger and bigger, okay? And in general, just gain velocity. So I feel like it can feel like a daunting task pushing a boulder but once things get going it's going to be a lot easier okay so trust in the process and trust that trust that one day you're going to get to the end of you know the light at the tunnel and it's going to be all worth it so one day you're going to have that clarity one day you're going to have that sense of divine justice and one day none of these things will matter because people will be uh, emulating, you know, your, your, your behavior and they will try to do the right thing. Um, I do feel as well, there's a lot of communication here. Check your emails, um, really fast, time sensitive type of communication. You guys are really good timekeepers and you're, you're very good about, you know, um, Marking your calendars, marking, uh, keeping track of start dates and due dates and end dates. But I feel like something's in the works that you have to respond to. And I feel like some of them could be like invitation. And, you know, somebody is just like all of a sudden thinking about you. They shoot you an email and they're like, do you want to go to this party, um, you know, tomorrow or tonight? So I feel like last minute communication for opportunities for fun, for excitement, for going out, for socializing, for reconnecting with people that you've been um, longing to hear from, but they're very time sensitive, okay? So these are like unexpected communication coming through from people and it's very fast and you know, there's like a short window of opportunity for you to respond. So check your emails, check your messages, make sure that if it takes my rule of thumb when it comes to emails or communication in general, if it takes me less than 30 seconds to respond, you, I try to respond right then and there. If it takes me longer than a minute, then I you know, don't respond to it until I have time. So that is something that I feel like you, know, you, you wanna have a system to organize, to organize like what is worth responding to. And uh, rather than just, you know, um, reading them or reading the emails or the text messages and then forgetting about them because I feel like you have to respond in a time sensitive manner. I'm also seeing as well, for those who are single, for those who are single, there has been a past relationship you have left behind as well. And I feel like, you know, you're coming into a space where career is going really, really well. Like you're you don't have financial issues that I'm seeing in this spread. You don't have uh, financial concerns. I see some of you are changing up your wardrobe, like getting things that are custom made, like um, uh, getting suits, getting dresses, getting things that are made specifically for your body type, for your taste, or for your standards. Okay, like um, 
spending or having the disposable income in order to get like custom made clothes that's saying a lot and I feel like some of you are losing weight you're taking your clothes in um, some of you are I feel like um, I don't see weight gain so much but I feel like maybe you're going to the gym and so you're like filling out in all the right places and so you're getting clothes that are a little bit more form-fitting okay to you know accentuates the the your best assets so I definitely see a lot of um, a lot of new clothes, a lot of like reinventing yourself, getting haircut, getting hairdos, getting like a new color, hair color, um, changing just the way that you look. And maybe I, I see like you're doing this because you are putting yourself out there in the dating uh, world or you have recently landed a job where you're very visible in the public eye. So you have to look a certain way. So either way, it looks really good. Okay, so you're you're splurging, you have the, the disposable income to do so, and I feel like it's it's looking really good. Um, I'm also sensing as well. We have here the sun in the reverse position, and the sun is it seems to me like shying from like shying away from the spotlight. Um, feeling a little bit like. Um, self-conscious as well you know not feeling completely confident not feeling at our best and not wanting to be on center stage like if you have to do presentations if you have to give a speech if you have to do something where you're in the public eye I feel like you can be you can appear a little bit stiff and a little bit um, just kind of robotic and I feel like you guys are aware of this and you're, you're actively working on it, okay? To make yourself a little bit more spontaneous. Um, like if you're in front of a crowd giving a speech, you want to know, like, what do I do with my hands? Um, I don't want to just, you know, have my hands down by my side. It looks awkward. So you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're rehearsing things and you're trying to find ways to act natural. <laughs> so... Yeah, you, you guys are trying to find ways to look natural, appear natural, or act natural. And um, it's going to come. Rehearse it enough. Don't take yourself, don't take things so seriously, okay? Just um, ease up a little bit. And I don't know how else to explain it, but I feel like, you know, repetition, rehearsing things will make the situation a lot better will make it flow a lot better and will make it a see, uh, appear a lot more natural you guys are natural orators like you you speak really well and when you speak uh, you guys are experts in your field so you you don't you know go around and, and blab about things that you don't know anything about like you're actually very cautious about sending out the right information you're cautious about how you come across you're cautious about how you speak and you want to make sure that you have all the information before you open your mouth and I feel like a lot of the times um, you don't appear confident enough and so rehearsing things and you know letting things flow naturally um, don't rehearse it word for word think about group them into cause and effect group them into you know chronological order so as long as you have an understanding of what comes first what comes second what comes third then you would already know how to logically arrange and recall the information so that you don't have to you know remember or memorize something verbatim so that process is, is going to help okay um i feel here let me see I, I see a fire sign, so a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. This is somebody that um, you, could be a family member, could be a lover, could be an ex, okay? But I feel like um, they're kind of careless. They have the best intentions in the world, okay? They have the best intentions in the world, but they're kind of careless. Um, I see somebody who's very clumsy, and they might uh, fall, they might trip, they might injure themselves. I'm seeing, like, scraping their knees. Um, bumping their, their, like snubbing their toes. Um, so they're very, very careless. And I, I feel like they're going to be around your space or there's going to be a lot of interaction with this person. And they're, they're quite comical. They're very careless. And I feel like their communication is very clumsy. You're going to be getting a lot of communication from this person. 
I'm also seeing an air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And um, this is somebody that they're very, very, very intelligent. But I also feel like they're, um, they're definitely emotionally kind of stunted, emotionally unaware. They're, they're a, a little bit emotionally underdeveloped or unaware, so they're not really um, conscious about how they come across to other people. They seem to me to be a little bit harsh. And I feel like there's a lot of communication between you and this person and they're coming to you and they're asking you, hey, what's wrong with the way that I talk? Is there anything wrong with the way that I appear? Like they're asking you about, they're, they're asking for you for your opinions about them because they're, they're facing a situation where they're not able to either make friends or they're not able to maintain relationships or they're not able to work with other people. That's what I'm sensing. So I feel like you're in a position where you're kind of shedding light on a situation, hence, you know, moving that flower pot into the sun. You're shedding light into the situation. You're, you're able to give um, advice or you're able to shed light into a per, uh, for a person. You're able to shine a light for a, a person regarding a situation or a problem that they've had. Okay? So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. And I hope it is timely. I hope it is helpful. I hope it resonates. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Okay? Take care of yourself. And uh, have a wonderful week of December 3rd. Bye-bye.